Okay, so let's see what the headrests look like. Let's open up uh, the roof. Okay, if you're curious, I'm using the Smart Top, which allows me to remote open the roof uh, with my uh, key fob. So here are the new headrests. Okay, now the only issue I have is getting the uh, rear um, wind uh, deflector in. It, it's actually being stopped by the headrest. The headrest is a little bit too thick. So, I don't know, I'm going to try and figure that out. But this is what it looks like. So it's a really nice low profile, it's very sleek. It's incredible how much visibility you have out the back window. Uh, that's, uh, so that's a really uh, you know, big advantage. The only problem I have is the wind deflector. Uh, so I'll, I'll install it and I'll show you that now. So I'm going to try and put in uh, the deflector and basically you see it won't go in because of the headrest. If you notice the deflector has a cutout or a, I guess it goes like that where it needs to go in to clear the headrest. That's the problem. Uh, even if I lift up the headrest, so let's, and that kind of defeats the purpose. So if I lift up the headrest, so that'll fit there. I mean, it's much harder to put on now. Ah, I'm gonna break it, you see? It actually won't go on. So I don't know how the other guy who has a cab was able to do it, but I'm not able to get this deflector on with these headrests, so that's a problem. Um, I really need the deflector. I live in Canada and it's cold and I like putting the roof down when, uh, when it's not so hot outside and this really helps a lot uh, by keeping the, uh, the cold, the hot air uh, in or the cold air out. Uh, yeah, so this will not fit at all. That sucks big time. Okay, the only way I can figure this out is you see that this piece is actually separate. So if I can remove it and flip it the other way, then it'll automatically make it go inward, which will clear. I'm sure that's how the European one is. Uh, they probably just use all the same parts. It's just, you know, manufactured a little bit different. So if I flip that metal bar, um, and then I guess I'd have to retighten the screen. That's kind of like a screen door. It's held with this uh, rubber piece. I'm sure this rubber piece comes out and I can remove the screen and retighten. I don't know, is it worth the risk of breaking my deflector? Uh, I'm not sure. So I'll try and play with it and I'll let you guys know. Okay, so I'm actually taking this apart. Basically, uh, it's kind of not riveted, but there's like a, I guess they press fit it. And so I drilled that out and now I'm trying to take it apart. There's like this weather stripping that holds the, uh, the net in. So, so far so good. You see, here's the other side. That's how it's connected. I'm trying to you see and what i'm gonna do is i'm actually gonna put from this side flip it over and put it on this and then this one flip it around and put it there that's how i'm gonna do it and what i'm doing is i'm actually drilling out these press fits right here okay i put it back together obviously there's the uh, material that i'm gonna have to trim back because again, the piece used to go out 
this way, right? It was reversed. And it all snapped back together, no issues, nothing broke. Very easily done. Well, not so easily done. I don't recommend it uh, because if you break it, it's a very expensive part. So I'm going to go trim it now. Okay, there I trimmed it. I mean, I could trim it a little bit better. Uh, I have to just tuck in uh, underneath the little rubber here. Uh, it'll, you know, I'll make it perfect. But it just gives you the idea of how I modified it. So there we go. That's what it looks like. So that's how the European version is to accommodate the European headrest. So that is the modification. Okay, so here's the final product. It is now installed. So as you can see, it fits a little bit better. It's not perfect. The headrests do have to come up a little bit because it does put pressure on it. So you see, see the gap? Obviously, if I had the real headrest, they're a little bit more tapered, so they would fit in this hole a little bit better. But it still allows me to put it on and off as before I wasn't able to at all. So I'm satisfied with this modification. I still get to use my wind deflector and have low profile headrests. Overall, I'm very happy. Let's uh, look at it from this angle. Yeah, I think it's pretty good. Obviously, I would like it better for this to be more flat. If you have any questions, leave your comments below and I'll try and help. Thank you.